1975, I saw a uh, Tesla coil that a neighbor had built, a little one, and I was really fascinated with it because it was aesthetically beautiful and it made electricity jump into the air, which I thought was really amazing. I built this giant coil in 1991 and 1992 at UC Berkeley when I was a graduate student there in physics. And um, in 1996, I had the idea to build a cage and get inside of it and have the Tesla coil strike the cage. And when I did that, I didn't feel any sensation of electricity. So then I, while I was in the cage, I touched the inside of the cage with my hands and I didn't get a shock. So that's when I realized that I could shrink the cage down to make a bodysuit, and it would be okay if the, if the metal was touching my skin. The machine is a Tesla coil, and it is generating electricity with, with about a voltage of about 200,000 volts. And the coil is firing at about 500 times a second, so it's actually a bunch of pulses in quick succession. And that's how you can get such long sparks because the pulse is essentially it drills a hole through the air, forges its own wire through the air. And that's how you can get such long electric arcs out of it. This suit is made out of a stainless steel knit mesh. It's a fabric that's used for industrial straining processes usually. This is a piece of heating duct cut open to make this chest armor. And this is a bird cage on top. And all these components are connected together electrically including these gloves, which are meat cutters gloves made out of stainless steel chain mail. And then these are aluminum foot guards. So the electricity runs on the outside of the suit because of something called the skin effect, which says that high frequency electricity tends to run on the outside of conductors. So I have no sensation whatsoever of electricity inside the suit. I don't feel it at all.